Welcome back gamers. Today we're going to be looking at the Nugget Solo Base. It is a super strong, super affordable, really easy to build. Just a little solo base for you guys to try out. We have a garage door entrance with a vending machine up top for people to use and for drones to use. Coming up you have access to your vending machine and going through garage doors you see you have a ladder hatch to your roof and a ladder hatch to your core. Some Dropbox storage, just because you can have never have enough storage. We have a research table, two boxes on top, four on the bottom with a repair bench. You have your main respawn bag. Coming down into the core, there are two garage doors. You have a couple boxes, a couple of furnaces. You can open up these embrasures and windows, and you have your workbench along with another small box. But you'll notice you have, there's no TC visible. It is a pixel gap TC base. So you're gonna stand on this. It's called a smart alarm. You're just gonna pop it down and you can open your TC. Now upkeep is extremely cheap. 19 high qual, 1000 metal frags and 2300 stone. And that is the base fully kitted out. That is all of this metal, all of this metal, as well as the floor, the ceiling and the walls to the TC armor. Because this is just stone on the outside, you don't want it to be a 12 rocket raid, so now it is 4 for the stone and 16 for the high qual, that is a 20 rocket raid instead. Still very cheap upkeep. You could also make more of the ceilings or walls armored if you feel like it. Now coming over to this smart alarm over here, if you remove this box because I put it a little too close, you're going to look through this side of the pixel gap, and there's actually a vending machine back here. So for your super valuable loot, rockets, sulfur, AKs, whatever you want to put over here. But it is both of these, it's going to cost 8 to break in. Now the pixel gap I used, it does not support armored, but there are definitely armored pixel gap videos you can look up and incorporate into this base. I just wanted to use the way that I know. Now, coming up all the way to the shooting floor. We have a very unique design with a lot more box space, four large boxes and two small boxes. But these peaks I absolutely love. You can peek out all of them, you can shoot. Now this one is like this just because you don't want people, uh, you don't want to be shot when you're coming through your ladder hatch. But these are absolutely fantastic, it's just so low peaks. Um, now coming from the outside. This is what it looks like when you're on the ground trying to shoot through. It is much, much harder to see and shoot through these, especially if you're getting sprayed. And the great thing about these peaks, if you die up here, there's no way someone is coming to get your loot because they'll hit these barricades. Uh, they can't even soft side the metal because of the barricades. So it is just, it is fantastic peaks. That is the base tour. All right, and now I will show you how to build it. So you're gonna come to your build location. We're gonna build the pixel gap first. So you're gonna place two square foundations, get to where you want the triangles to be, and you're gonna jump. Now without moving your mouse, you're gonna move left, and then come back as far into the other foundation as you can. You're gonna place it. If this turns blue, you're good to go. So you're gonna place a half wall, a triangle, and then this is how the pixel gap works. You're going to put one on the top and one on the bottom, and it's going to leave a gap right here. But what you want to do is because you want to have the foundations for the TC and the vending machine uh, for two foundations. So you're going to put another one over here. And you're going to do just like that. But since you can't put that, you're just going to do like that. And there it is. And you're going to put the half wall, half wall, half wall. Oh, you got to do tops first. Half wall and half wall. Now you can delete all of this. See how there's, you can just see a little bit gap. And if you want to test it, you just put your smart alarm down. You, see, you can see through. All right. So now what you're going to do is just, you can leave one of these open so you can place it a little bit easier. You're just going to take your vending machine. Just gonna put as far over there as you can, and then TC can just 
shoved like that. Okay. I'm gonna completely close this off. Uh, I like to upgrade this to armored. Okay, so now that side is armored. This side is sheet metal. And once again, you can use somebody else's base design or uh, tutorial for pixel gap that incorporates high crawl. I just do not, I don't know how to do it myself. So now that's like that. You can put the foundation down. So over here, you're just gonna have the furnaces and uh, your smart alarm. And then over here, you're going to put your workbench. Just make sure you can fit it inside the window, which just gives your TC a lot of extra protection. Now, if they do blow through the sheet metal on the vending machine side, it's still gonna be the same amount of cost, but uh, it's just a little extra just to beef up the base in any way you can. You can just completely not put this window here at all if you want to. I just like to do it so it looks like something valuable is behind this side and they want to blow in this thinking this is just honeycomb. But that is completely up to you guys. So once all of this is here, you're going to put a triangle foundation frame. And you're going to put your ladder hatch. And over here you can just put whatever. I just bag, definitely want one in core, and you can spam boxes in here as well, as long as you have room for the smart alarm. And here we go. There's your vending machine. And there's your TC. Perfect. You can put garage doors here. And come upstairs. Just completely surround this. Make the other sheet metal just so they can't blow straight down. Foundation. That. This for the vending machine again. And just rotate that. And that. You could put another foundation like this and put a half half wall jump up. I like having this. Just you know, add some raid costs. You don't want to make it easy for the raiders. Coming up. ceilings except for above the this one right here well then you're just gonna put a double loot room right here this is where your repair bench your boxes everything like that goes and then you're just gonna spam garage doors just like you would in any other base and then you're going to put your ladder hatch up I'm not showing all the box placements and stuff because that is extremely boring. And I'm not going to make anybody watch that. So, everybody knows how to place some boxes. Just make sure all these are. I like to make this armored as well, just so when they blow in through the front door, they don't immediately be like, oh, let me just spend eight rockets and not worry about anything else. You want it to be a little more difficult uh, just from like uh, a door raid. So now what you're going to do is you're just going to honeycomb the base, just like a normal honeycomb would be on any other base. Now for the roof peaks, what you're going to want to do is put the half walls around your jump up, then you're going to put half walls here and here. Then you're going to put frames all around the entire thing. Then you're going to take your roof triangles. And it's just easier to do it from the outside, but I'm just going to put them like that. And then you want to make them sheet metal just so if someone does spend a ridiculous amount of time breaking your barricades, they're not going to be able to super easily soft side the roof because you have these low walls. And it also makes it much better for peeking out because there's a much smaller gap. Let's say you remove this super big angle now that they have on me, it doesn't really help me out too much because now they can see all of it and it's much easier for them to get in. So you want to have these low walls and then you can take your boxes and put 
two large boxes on those sides, two large boxes on this side, and then the two small boxes like that. And then you're going to come outside with a ladder, and you're just going to run around the base and place twig, triangle, like that. And then you can take your barricades and just make sure the middle, the middle barricade pole lines up with the middle of the triangle, and then push it far back against that as you can go. And now it stays up here only on one triangle. Boom. 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 You're just going to break all these. You can just leave these twig when you're building this. Uh oh. Whoops. And there is the base. The Nugget base. Uh, cheapest raid cost is if you go through armored and stone, it is 20 rockets, but if you just want to go to where your TC and vending machine are, just upgrade it all to sheet. Now it would be 8 and 16. And it's 24 rockets, which I think would be about the same price as if you went through doors, because it is 3 rockets, 4 rockets, it's a max blow. Another garage door, then another ladder hatch, then 2 more garage doors, which you can splash. And then they would have to make the decision to go through the window or the wall. But if you do change this to armored, the, the base is just extremely expensive to raid. Much cheaper. It is 5,000 wood, 23,000, 14,000 stone, 3,000 frags, and 115 high ball. Thank you boys for watching.